And welcome to the News at 4. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brian Holmes. And I'm Dee Sarton. And new for you at 4, student enrollment at CUNA schools is at an all-time high with 5,400 students now enrolled. The school district says all of the schools are either at capacity or over capacity. And that's just part of the reason that they're asking for a renewal levy. KTVB's Shira Matsuzawa is live in CUNA with what issues that levy would address. That's right, you know, with uh, Idaho growing, you know, they expect that number of students to grow as well, so much so that in the next three years, they expect an additional 700 new students. And that's why this uh, renewal levy is so important to them. Overcrowded classrooms, outdated security, and not enough technology. Those are just some of the issues the CUNA school district is dealing with. But they hope a renewal levy will alleviate some of those problems. On Tuesday, the school board unanimously approved asking voters to renew the existing levy. Same amount, same tax rate. That levy is for two years and a total of $5 million. So we're looking at those class sizes, expanding opportunities for kids, addressing critical safety needs, and then getting kids and teachers those things they use every day, updated textbooks, updated computers, um, those materials they need that support learning now. Two years ago, voters passed a levy and bond and used it to address some of those issues. But fast forward to today, and the city is still dealing with similar problems because of the continued growth and it's only expected to get worse. We were walking through a school yesterday in a science classroom that was, you know, 30 plus kids. They were crowded, bumping into each other. The school district says the funding will also go towards school safety. Improving the access of our building to make sure strangers and other folks can't get in, and then improving other, area, other critical needs. Another piece of that is supporting our school resource officers. According to the current growth rate, the school district expects 700 new students to roam these halls within the next three years. As you go through town, you'll see new, uh, new constructions for buildings and homes, and we're just being proactive, preparing for those students that will come. The CUNA School District voters can take up that issue on March 12th. Now, we know that there may be some people here who might be concerned about it since they just renewed it two years ago. Well, we asked the school district about that, and you'll hear from them and their response to that question coming up at 5. All right, Shira, thank you. Live from CUNA. Thank you.